you need to use this slideshow in conjunction with your profit and loss example. Look at the top information which has all the costs and then below that we have the seven steps how to achieve it. First of all, to get A, the sales revenue, we take the quantity sold and times it by the price, which gives us 6,250. There is only one source of sales revenue in this particular case, so that goes into the total 6,250. The next thing we need to work out is the cost of goods sold. This is how much money you have spent manufacturing the goods. To do this, we get the opening stock, the amount of stuff that's in the warehouse at the start of the year. We then add into the purchases, um, the things that you bought during the year, and then we look at the warehouse at the end of the year and see how much stock they have left, and that is the closing stock. So to work out how much we've used during the year, we add our opening stock to our purchases, and then we take off our closing stock, as it says in point two. And that gives us £1,875. The next step is to work out the gross profit. The gross profit is how much money you have left after you've paid for making your goods. So in this case, it will be 6,250 minus 1,875. So the answer is 4,375. We now look at the other costs the business will have incurred. We call these overheads. These are the costs which don't directly relate to making the item, but they are costs involved in the production and selling of the item. So these are called overheads. Number one is a loan interest payment. So we took out a loan, the interest is a cost to the business. We have wages and salaries for the staff there. This is a cost of making them and selling them, and things like that. We have factory heating to keep the factory nice and warm while people are working there. We have advertising to promote our products and we have administration that is doing the finances, the human resources, all of that sort of stuff. We then add up those figures and that gives us D3710. Now, net profit is the next thing we do, which is 0.5. Um, net profit is what we really mean as profit is. You take all the money you've earned and you take off how much you've spent. So in this case, we're going to take our gross profit figure and take off the rest of our costs, our overheads. So our answer is £665. Not much for the year, but hey. With that profit, there are only three things that we can do to it. We can pay tax on it, we can give some to the shareholders, or we can keep it for future investment. So tax on profit, in this case, it is £500. You pay tax on the previous year's figures. That's why this seems so particularly high. Dividends are the money given to shareholders. The shareholders own the business, so they get a share of the profit each year. And the word we're going to use for this is dividends or distributed profit. And in this case, it is £50. We add up those two together, 0.6, to give us 550. Now, the last thing we have is retained profit. This is the money the business keeps for future investment. So um, if I was British Airways, I might use it to buy some new planes. If I was Tesco's, I might build a new store. So it's really important for a business to have retained profits so they can grow. So to calculate this, step seven, we take our net profit figure E, we um, take off our tax and our dividends, and that gives us 165 as our figure G. And that is how to do a profit and loss statement.